British firms are heading to Davao in search of new investment opportunities in the fast-growing region of Mindanao. The trade mission will head to Davao this March 30th and 31st. It will meet with the city government and Mindanao Business Council. It will also visit homegrown industries and economic zones. Mindanao is obviously getting a lot of attention. Uh, it's a large island with obviously significant opportunities and resources. And it kind of reflects also, I think, uh, the economic plan and the focus. The Davao region is a major economic hub in the Philippines. In 2014, it grew by 9.4 percent, the fastest in the country. It also produced $5 billion worth of exports. The British Chamber says more than 20 companies are expected to join the trade mission. They're keen on sectors like agriculture, power, and infrastructure. Uh, we've had significant interest. I think we'll get a good cross-section. Uh, and what we want to really want to do is also it's networking. Because obviously what we want to do there when we get to Mindanao, uh, into Davao, is, is match. However, there are concerns. Mindanao is regularly hit by blackouts. The Abu Sayyaf also terrorizes certain areas with firefights, bombings, and hostage takings. The British Chamber hopes the government continues its efforts to address these problems. I think from what I understand of people, they're making a lot of efforts on power. Uh, and I, I think that's really been very good. In terms of security, we'll always be uh, advised by the appropriate authorities and by the appropriate embassies. The United Kingdom is the largest European investor in the Philippines, putting in about $1.2 billion in 2015. In previous trade missions, the British Chamber has helped seal four business deals in food and beverage, beauty, plastics, and technology. Claire Yao, CNN Philippines. President Duterte finally 